Hello and welcome to The Daily Brown Bag. Today we're gonna to be talking about questions that you should ask uh, your white-labeled SEO firm. I'm Chad Hill and I'm joined by Adam Stetzer. Yeah, good morning, Chad. Welcome to The Brown Bag. You're out shopping for an outsourced partner. We wanna give you this quick hit list. It's gonna be really, really helpful uh, for you as you try to pick a white-labeled SEO firm that's gonna really help you grow meet your revenue objectives and maintain your customers. So Chad, let's get right into this. We're gonna go back and forth, rapid fire. Here's the first thing you should ask them. What is your approach to improving rankings and increasing brand awareness? And here's a few tips uh, for what you should look for in the answer. You should be hearing things like SEO is a long term game. It's not something that's going to happen you know, real quick. If you're hearing them say, yeah, 30 days, I can get you results, you should run away from that firm. You should be hearing things like content marketing, which we're going to talk about in a second, making an investment and setting appropriate customer expectations, all telling you that the firm understands that this is not something you can do in 30 or 60 days. Next question is, do you offer an SEO guarantee? And this is one that you absolutely should, well, you should ask the question and then see what the answer is. Uh, generally speaking, you, there is really no way to guarantee SEO. You're talking about how to help a client rank in Google. Google's a third party. Their algorithms are always changing. So be very weary of someone who says that they're guaranteeing ranking or anything within uh, 60 or 90 days. Historically, those types of guarantees have always been on keywords that really have no traffic and no volume. And so if someone's guaranteeing uh, to get you rankings on something that doesn't really, isn't really ever going to bring traffic to your client, of course, that's a bad way to start things. So be very wary and there's definitely lots of uh, help and there's some links here to uh, read more about why SEO guarantees are bad. Awesome, okay, so you're feeling pretty good about this white label SEO firm, but you wanna dig a little deeper. Question number three, how do you handle content marketing? Is it a part of your strategy? Sort of building on question one. So if you get an answer like, well, content marketing, we don't do that, okay, that's a bad sign. You know, in 2015, headed into 2016, content marketing, SEO, PR, they're all merging very rapidly. Social media, they're all starting to mix together in very real ways. There's a lot of debate. You can watch things from Rand and Moz and, and Whiteboard Friday about what you know actually brings the links in the search engines. But the right way to do SEO is high quality content. That's definitely going to be part of a good white label SEO firm. You want to hear a lot about that when you're interviewing them. Next question is, how does your company respond to Google changes? It's a great one because that is always, there are lots of changes happening constantly at Google. You know, I think there's sometimes uh, the industry wants to hype it up a little bit more than, than the reality, but there are changes. And I think the bottom line is you want to always make sure that your company is researching, is running tests and beta programs to understand how different tactics can lead to better uh, results. I think the other thing you want to do is always look for a company that's thinking about building and, and handling a diversified online marketing program, whether that be across the different disciplines like paid search, SEO, social media, and then more specifically within SEO that they're not really doing any too much of any one thing because again, if it, at some point in the future, a tactic that works today stops working, you don't want to have all of your eggs in that one basket. You want to have a more diversified, diversified plan. Excellent. Number five, how do you measure progress and results? Seems easy, right? You're talking to a white label SEO firm that should say rankings. Well, it's not really that easy. Some firms are really focused on rankings. Other firms are focused on bringing you business and leads, and that may be attractive to you. It may not, depending on the types of leads you get. Some leads are really junk. Other firms are in a third camp entirely where they're just focused on the work activity, where they're very a la carte, and, and you might give them 50 bucks, and they give you two you know, spammy blog comments and say, we did exactly what we said we were gonna do. So the definition of progress and results is gonna be different by firm. We tend to favor a more consultative approach where someone is available uh, in your time zone, speaks your language and is able to talk you through picking keywords and consulting with clients and growing your sales. But that may not be what you're looking for, maybe more expensive than the a la carte, just buying a, a crappy link, which of course we would never recommend. Again, ask the question, how do you measure progress and results? Next question, how will I or my clients track campaigns? It's a great question. There are a lot of different approaches to this. Um, there, in our case, we have a lot of software that is very transparent to what, what's actually happening from a, a rankings and traffic standpoint, as well as the deliverables, but you'll find a, a wide range of, of different approaches. Some people are very focused on just reporting on the del deliverables, not very focused on giving you the, the, the results of those deliverables in terms of are they moving the rankings and the traffic. Um, other firms are maybe just giving you rankings and not really telling you a whole lot about what they're actually doing. You want to be you know, concerned with that because you want to know 
what's actually happening. You're on the hook for your client and what the deliverables are. So again, ask the question uh, how you're going to get information and reports back because it, you'll see a wide range of answers. Number seven, how will your firm communicate with my team? Really, really important, again, because if you're shopping just on price, you might find, well, you know, they're offshore and they're not available in my time zone. If you need someone to be able to jump on the phone and actually get a human to help you, that's going to put you in a different ballpark in terms of what white label SEO firms you should be talking to uh, versus if you're just purely shopping on price. Nothing wrong with that. Just know that going in. Some will have very well developed software and say, well, you just put in a ticket. So then that's fine if that's what you're looking for, but ask questions. What's your average turnaround time? Is there an SLA on that ticket? Will I hear back within 30 minutes, within one hour? You know, start to get to know how you will communicate so your expectations are appropriate going in. You'll be happier when you make that selection. Next question is, what training and resources do you offer? So this again is, uh, you're gonna see a wide range of answers here. Uh, we take a very much uh, an approach of we wanna educate our our resellers on not only the latest trends in online marketing, but teaching them some of the fundamentals because the more people understand about the services, SEO, paid search, social media, the better they're gonna be able to get out and be a trusted digital media advisor, and that's gonna allow them to improve their close rate. But you know, wanna ask questions, what kind of things do you offer? Do you have webinars where you're doing training? Is there any upfront training on both maybe your software as well as um, the, the methodologies and proposals you're putting together? and then look for other assets that you might be able to use uh, to educate your your uh, your rec your clients. So things like um, eBooks that might be coming out, uh, one pagers, anything else, proposals that they might be providing that's gonna help you be more effective at being a pro at SEO and then ultimately uh, passing that information along to your client. Number nine, what is your customer service process and what is your availability? I touched on this a little bit in number seven. Dig a little deeper. You know, how do you raise a trouble ticket? What are the hours of your firm? Will I have a dedicated account manager or will I be dealing with a customer service pool? Or is this a small firm and it's just the owners can be responding to all, all the questions? That may be okay, but what happens when they go on vacation or get sick? So you, again, you want to ask these questions when you're in the interview process up front before you make your selections so you know what to expect. And our last question here is, what is the payment schedule and is there a contract? Again, these are really important to know upfront going in how you're going to do business with your partner. Um, so there, again, there are lots of different approaches here. You want to understand the cost when payments are due, what the initial term is, what the process for putting in a, a termination notice, because the, really the most important thing is, you know, I think mo in most cases you can work around coming up with a, a partnership that's going to work, but you need to make sure that you turn around and enforce the same um, contract that you have with your outsource partner with your client. So again, ask the questions, read the fine print on the master services agreement or the individual SOWs. So you really have a good understanding and then you build in the protections on your side so that you're also going to, again, you're going to have those protections with, with your end client. Excellent. Well, those are our 10 questions. And as you're selecting an outsourcing partner to find that white label SEO firm, that's going to really be, awesome for your business, help you grow, have good customer retention. I think you'll need at least an hour to go through these with them. I recommend you talk to at least three firms and use this same scripted list of questions and then really make good notes and compare the answers you get. I think you'll be very happy with the selection you make and your business will be off to a booming start. So that's our brown bag for today. We really appreciate you joining us. As always, we ask you to hit the subscribe button. We'll see you back here real soon.